All right. So I have to kind of squish down in here. I wanted the angle a little better for you guys to be able to see what I'm doing. So what you need to do always before you start any of your projects is to wedge your clay. Okay, if you read through the vocabulary, you're gonna wedge your clay to remove air bubbles, okay? And it helps to mix it better. Um, and it'll also help your clay stay together better and less cracks that will happen in your projects. All right, so you can decide if you wanna do all your clay at one time or just do a piece as you go. That's up to you, okay? But when we do this, and if you look on the internet, you're going to see a variety of different ways of doing this. Um, pretty similar. There's a few different styles that people do. Okay. Um, this one is kind of pretty uh, traditional, so it's a good one to go with and work with. Okay. Um, best is to actually have yourself a surface that's maybe up here a little higher. I know we're all kind of working in weird areas, so you're going to just have to make do with what you have. Okay. So mine's a little shorter than what I need. And what I'm going to do is um, always keep your hands just kind of to the outside of the clay. Don't dig your fingers in and create air bubbles, okay? So what we're going to do then is kind of push and then a little bit of a roll. And then um, what I like to do is bring it back with my left hand or, yeah, and pivot in my right. This creates it at a little bit of an angle, okay, for you. To kind of get going once you get used to it it's easy to create a nice rhythm with it so my hands on the ends are just keeping the clay from getting you know spread out too much now some people will do it where you just go straight on okay and if that seems to be what's working for you that's good okay what you don't want to do is over squish it and then flap your clay over okay because when you're doing that, you're just trapping more um, air into the clay, okay? So we want to do it so it's going to create a nice rotation. Now, if you're directly on a, a surface like this, I'm on a plastic table, it wants to stick a little bit, okay? You could do it on a cloth, like um, when I show you outside, same way, but you're going to have to kind of pin it a little bit with your hip, and sometimes it does get caught and it kind of gets in the way. At school, of course, we have a nice uh, cloth that's all, you know, stapled down so it doesn't move. You're going to want to do this about 25 times. We did, you know, I made all the clay, I pugged it all, okay? And so it's not bad. If you put scraps together and you wedge it, you're going to want to probably double that and go about 50 times. So just count about 25 times with this. And then when you're done, you always want to kind of smack the clay into a nice ball. Okay, so whether you're doing just this one or if you're going to do multiple at a time, just put that in your bag. If you got a spray bottle, spritz a little bit of water into it. Wrap it up tight so there's not a lot of air. And that clay is going to stay a really long time, okay? So that's kind of your basics of wedging. Um, again, one at a time or just do it all and get done with it now.